This is Lesson 14 Homework, Grade 2, Module 4. Write your name first. Solve by writing the problem vertically and check your result. So we're going to, we're going to solve it first vertically and then check result by drawing chips and change one for ten. One ten for ten ones when needed. Now, now we've been doing this already, but now we're working with hundreds. So we have 156 minus 42. And be careful that we have 42, that's four tens and two ones. We want the four, the tens to be under the tens and the ones to be under the ones. So be careful that you don't do this. Don't do that because then you're subtracting tens from hundreds. So that's that's a mistake a lot of a lot of second graders make in the beginning. So don't let that happen to you if you can help it. All right, and now vertically we can see we have enough ones. Six, we can take away two ones and have four left. And tens, we have five tens. We can take away four tens and have one left. And there's our answer, 114. Sometimes it's that easy. Menu ends 156, one, five tens, two, three, four, five, and six ones, one, two, three, four, five, six. Always in five group rows if you can manage it. Uh, subtract 42, that's two ones, and one, two, three, four tens, and that's one hundred, one ten, and four ones left. 150. Minus 36, and we're going to circle our menu end and see that we have zero ones in our menu end. So we have to unbundle a 10. We'll have four tens left, and that'll give us 10 ones. Enough to subtract six and have four left over. Four tens minus three tens, one ten, and we still have that hundred, 114. So the 150 is 100, and one, two, three, four, five tens. Don't have any ones, so we have to unbundle that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you have any weaknesses in your in your uh, basic subtraction facts, then uh, drawing these HTO charts will help you check your subtraction, even just in these digits. But this is a you know this is, this should be you should know if you have ten and you take away six you have four you really should know your parts to ten, and then we need to also subtract three tens. One two. Three, and we have 100, 110, and four ones left. Now we have 163, and we're subtracting 45. Circle that menu end with lots of space above. And we're focusing on that. We don't have enough ones to take away five ones, so we're going to have to unbundle a 10. We'll have five tens left after we do that. Ten more ones plus the three we already have is thirteen ones. And I do this one hundred sixty one ten twenty thirty forty fifty sixty and three one two three and this is what I just did right. I unbundled a ten. Now you can see there's five tens left, and I get ten more ones for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I have ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen ones, just like I have up here. Thirteen minus five is eight. Five minus four is one, and still have that hundred. Our subtraction over here, cross out five ones and four tens. One, two, three. Four, and I have a hundred, I have a ten, and I have eight ones. And now we're doing these without the place value chart. Here's my menu end. 
focusing on that menu end so I don't subtract up. I don't have enough ones to take away nine ones, so I have to unbundle a ten. I'll have two tens left when I do that. They'll, but now I'll have fourteen ones. Fourteen minus nine is five. Two minus two is nothing left over for tens, and then there's your hundred. I don't have enough ones to take away seven ones, so I have to unbundle a ten. I'll have four tens left when I do that. And that will give me ten more ones, so ten and four, fourteen. Fourteen minus seven is seven. Four minus three is one, and I still have the hundred. Finally, solve and show your work. Draw place value chart and chips if needed. Ania has 165 seashells. She has 28 more than Ralph. How many seashells does Ralph have? So this is what she has. Ania and Ralph. We don't know how many Ralph has. We know Ania has 165. And we know this is the more, which is 28. So we have to find out the difference between these two. 165 minus 28. Being careful to watch our menu end. We need more ones in our menu end because we don't have the 8 that we need to take away. So we can unbundle a 10. We'll have 5 10s left. 10 more 1s plus the 5 we already have is 10 and 5. It's 15 ones. 15 minus 8 is 7. 5 minus 2 is 3. In the 100s we still have that 100. Ralph. Has 137 shells. And then Ania or Anaya and Ralph each give 19 seashells to Harold. How many seashells does Anaya have left? So if she has, she gave away 19. She had 165, right? Because that's what it says up here. She had 165 and she gave away 19. So we have to find out the difference between 165 and the 19 that she gave away and this is what she has left that's what we don't know so that's 165 minus the 19 this would be pretty easy to do mentally because that's almost minus 20 but I'm going to practice verticality because that's what we're working on 9 can't take away 9 because we don't have 9 ones. And I can't take away 5 from the 9 because that's not what we're doing. We're taking, we're subtracting 9, we're not subtracting 5. So, 5, unbundle a 10, we'll have 5 10s left. That gives us 10 more ones, so that's 15. 15 minus 9 is 6, 5 minus 1 is 4. That's 146. Anaya has 146 shells left. How many seashells does Ralph have left? Well, they Anaya and Ralph both gave 19 to Harold. So what did Ralph have? Ralph had 137, right, from part A. So here's Ralph. He had 137. And he's also giving away 19. And that's what he's that's what he's giving away, because they both gave away 19. And this is what he has left. We don't know that. So it's 137 minus the 19. 
here's our menu end. I'm going to focus on that. We have nine to take away, but we only have seven ones. So that means we're going to have to unbundle the ten. We'll have two tens left when we do this. And that will give us ten more ones. Seventeen. Every time we unbundle tens, we're going to end up with a teen number. So, and this is just one less ten and ten more ones. Then that might you know, that may remind you that all that one less, ten less, ten more, one less, one more, all of that practice we've been doing in the weeks leading up to this, it's all getting ready. Everything we've been doing has been getting us ready for this right here. Seventeen minus nine is eight. 2 minus 1 is 1, and we still have the 100, not subtracting any 100s. Ralph has 118 shells left. 